Sean Stevenson here. I want to know, when you think about the term forgiveness, what comes into mind? Is it some prayerful person on their knees in church asking God for forgiveness? Is it a friend going to a friend after an argument and apologizing and saying, I'm sorry, will you please forgive me? Is it a child who's done something bad and now needs to go back to their parents and ask for forgiveness? What is it for you? Well, for most of us, it's something in our mind that we do with another person, right? Or for another person. But I'm going to challenge you right now and say forgiveness can also be for yourself. And I mean you can forgive yourself for what you've done in your life. As a therapist, I see so many clients in here that punish themselves, beat themselves up, abuse themselves, because they just won't forgive themselves. Because they have some weight on their shoulder from something they did or didn't do from the past, and it keeps haunting them. And the most important thing that I help them discover is self-forgiveness. Realizing that, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we hurt others. Sometimes we hurt ourselves. But if we keep holding on to that and dragging it like a bag that's so heavy full of rocks everywhere we go, we're not going to be able to make better choices in the future. And we're not going to have the strength to go after what we truly deserve and desire, I challenge you to make a list of maybe three to five things in your life that you're really hard on yourself, that you're really not letting go of, and forgive yourself. Sit down and just truly feel that you are done carrying that weight that you can apologize to yourself for your own behavior, behavior towards others and self. When you forgive yourself, it's like your heart opens up and your mind becomes clear. And you clear out the past so that you can enjoy the present and look forward to the future. Now, I know this is kind of a very serious blog, but... I want to challenge you to forgive yourself for whatever it is. You know, you might have to pay consequences, and, you know, that's just the law of nature. However, you don't need to keep carrying something with you. And you might have a reason for why you are and say, No, Sean, I can't forgive myself. You don't understand. I don't need to understand your situation to know that by forgiving yourself, you actually start resolving whatever it is that you screwed up, whatever it is that you went through, or whatever it is that you wish you never did. Resolution does not start until we have forgiveness. I'm Sean Stevenson, and thanks for watching.